It's time for another Denjang update. If you've been following since February of 2021, welcome back. If you're new here, let me explain what's going on. Denjang is a fermented soybean paste. It's very similar to miso paste. I've been on a mission to make my own Denjang paste from scratch. So far, we've boiled soybeans, mashed them, dried them, brined them, then separated them and fermented them. Check the playlist this video is in if you want to watch all the previous Denjang updates. It's time to see how the denjang has coped after not being touched for three months. Will it be ready to be used in cooking or will I need to keep fermenting it even further? Keep watching because I'm gonna be doing a taste test to see. But before that, let's see how it looks. Amazingly enough, there's not a single spot of mold on the top. You can actually see the colors moving down the jar. It smells amazing and the texture looks to be just how I want it. However, this jar isn't ready yet, but luckily enough, I have the smaller jar which has some more of the same batch of denjang. And this one is completely darkened all over. So let's give this one a taste. That is the face of someone who didn't just waste 9 months of his life trying to make a bean paste that is cheap as frick to buy. I reckon this small jar is ready for cooking, however the larger jar I'm going to keep going and we'll see how far we can take this experiment. 